What's going on, everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, here with today's second segment. That's right, we upload multiple times on this channel very often, so uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit the bell icon, okay, guys, so you don't miss out on any of these off-the-cuff segments uh, or any of our reviews or our rants or whatever we do up here. Uh, we do a lot of it, so just don't miss out. All right, hit the bell icon, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you want even more content and access to that members-only Discord chat, Join the channel members, uh, join the channel membership, I should say, $4.99 a month, um, and it's like YouTube's Patreon, and it's the only reason why I can do this full time, so really do appreciate the help. Today, we're going to be talking about a grail of mine, and um, some interesting stuff that I probably can't go into full detail on YouTube without getting banned, but um, it's, 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 it's worth sticking around, but, B-U-T-T, but little double entendre there because, um, well, you'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and tell the time. It is 1.29 p.m. Let's get down to business. If you missed today's first segment, fear not, I will link it in the description below. We spoke about a stupid new iteration of the Seiko 5KX, blah, 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 blah. That made me sick. Now I want to talk about a watch I'm actually excited about. So, <clears throat> okay. Sven Andersen. We're going to go ahead and, nope, nope, nope. Don't want to show that right there. This is their jumping hour watch, okay? The Sven Andersen, or I should say, Andersen Genève uh, jumping hour. Sven Andersen is uh, the dude who is the big boss over here. Um, gorgeous watch, right? Crazy, crazy guilloche pattern. You see, uh, what what is that? Is that a small second? And, and why is there a date complication at the 12 o'clock? It's not, guys. Neither of those things are true. Uh, this is a jumping hour, so this is not a small second track. This is actually the minute track, and as this elapses and it clicks around, you get another hour. So this is in the 10 o'clock hour, and uh, it will keep moving as long as this rotates, and then once it hits 12, click, it goes into another hour. Very, very cool, very, very satisfying, very different, and... Um, I mean, this is one of the most gorgeous layouts of a jumping hour. Uh, this is all hand done, this guilloche pattern. And then uh, what's even crazier is there's a totally different pattern on this minute track dial, uh, kind of pyramid checks there. And uh, the beauty is not only, oh my God, look at how that plays with the light. Absolutely gorgeous. Something, that, you know, this isn't, very complicated with a bunch of things on the dial, but what is on the dial is so captivating you'll want to stare at it. This is insane. Um, but yeah, as far as moving parts go, I mean, there's not even a handset that, that like, there's, there's no second hand that is moving. There's no hour hand that is moving. It's literally just a very small minute hand and then a dish that clicks uh, every time there's a new hour uh, showing off that little dish. Here's that uh, dial right here. Very cool. Arabic font, by the way. Beauty is not only in the front, as I said. Uh, gorgeous hand-carved uh, uh, gold rotor as well. This case is actually platinum. The rotor is gold, and the dial on this is pink gold. Now, this is the newest iteration of their jumping hour. This is the Japan-only Rising Sun Edition, uh, announced seven hours ago on Monochrome Watches. Uh, shout out, Monochrome. This is an absolutely gorgeous watch. 38 millimeter, 9.22 millimeter thick, 950 platinum case with uh, uh, welded lugs, excuse me, sapphire crystal front and back, 30 meter water resistance rating. But I urge you, if you have this watch, treat it like a piece of paper, especially because you're paying 48,800 Swiss francs for it. That's about 55,400 something US dollars, I think. Someone do the conversion. I think I was fairly accurate. Pink gold dial, hand carved. Um, insane watch. Now, for my longtime viewers, you will know, I, I announced this as one of my grails. Still on the list, guys. Don't think I will be able to afford it for a very long time, but this is their 40th anniversary, Anderson Genev's 40th anniversary watch when they announced this jumping hour. You can see, I'm going to get a, a close-up of the dial. You can see it says, this is their rose gold case. 1980 to 2020, this is showcasing their 40 years of watchmaking. This blue is insane. Um, and it's so nice with that pink, uh, pink gold or rose gold. I don't know which one it is, but it's, it's awesome. Look at that dude. This is hand carved. 
This is hand carved. All of this. Do you not see this? This is insane. Um, and then they announced this one. Uh, this is obviously yellow gold all around. Uh, still hand carved, gorgeous rotor. Comment in the comment section below, which one would be your favorite? This one's very nice because it does have some tasteful blue splashes. You can see all hand carved. Nuts! Nutty! This is absolutely nuts. And then, uh, speaking of nuts and butts, let's go ahead and uh, check out my YouTube channel. If you type in erotic in the search on my YouTube page, the strange world of erotic wristwatches, why do these exist? I made this episode four years ago. You really should watch it. I also made one about hentai and horology. Uh, why does this exist? I, I don't know. But please watch a strange world of erotic watch, uh, wristwatches because th this is um, a, a very prominent, actually, like subgenre of orology or horology, as I'd like to say. And guess what? Uh, Anderson Genève is very, very uh, active in that community. Um, let me see if I can even show. Uh, so th there's my Konosuba anime background. Konosuba is the best anime ever, by the way. Uh, absolutely love that. It's funny, has some good action. Um, it's like a, a story of comrades meeting each other and, and it's silly and fun. Doesn't matter. What we're talking about here is, uh, oh my gosh, I have to be very, very careful because Last time I showed anything and it was kind of still blurred on the hentai and orology episode, uh, it got like flagged. So I have to be very careful with what I show here. It's blurred, but her, her breastuses are out and I can't, that's as much as I can show you guys. If you want to uh, check it out, just type in Anderson Genève Eros XL. Sven Anderson, for some reason, is very, very interested in erotic horology, and he has a bunch of watches depicting a lot of um, adult situations with, with, with many moving parts, which is so impressive and, and weird. And it shows this incredible juxtaposition between someone making something incredibly silly and weird like that, and then something truly stunning and elegant like this. So I'm going to be honest, when I first learned about Sven Anderson and Anderson Genève, I kind of wrote them off because when I learned about them, I learned about them through the erotic urology and I didn't like it. Um, and I kind of wrote them off as a sicko, like weirdo. But then I looked at the other watches that he has produced. And then this now being like one of my top grails, I'm like, you know what? I'll forgive him for all that other stuff. The other stuff is just funny. He's just being a little meme Lord uh, because th 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 dude, this, I don't know how you argue against this being art. This is just nuts watchmaking here, guys. And again, it's not super complex uh, with uh, moving parts uh, and, and from a mechanical standpoint. I mean, it is a, this is a modified, these, these watches use a modified, um, I, I guess they consider an in-house jumping hour module to a, a Frederic Piguet um, 1150 movement. So it's a, a, a modified movement. But like there's not a whole bunch of dials and bits and bops on on the dial. It's just incredibly complex when you look at how much went into manufacturing each dial. It's 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 insane. But leave me a comment. Let me know uh, which is your favorite iteration of this jumping hour, and then uh, which is your favorite uh, Anderson erotic watch. Leave it in the comment section below, and I will talk to you there. All right, guys. Just wanted to show you a watch I really like because unfortunately earlier today we had to speak about a watch I didn't like. All right, I will catch you on the next one. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. All right, guys. I love you.